there's a couple of things I want to talk about on screen today and this is by way of experiment first of all dead cat a little bit windy out here so hopefully that will keep some wind noise out of this sound recording I'm doing sound recording on the phone because the DJI itself doesn't record sound not easy using this as one hand for the drone and the other hand for the phone. Let's see if I can get focus right. Not too bad I suppose. Go for a walk. Hope the wind isn't too bad in the in the phone. Seems to be working alright. One thing I have noticed and I don't care, I think it's funny. There's people looking at me funny. A car driving past, passenger and driver staring at me. The man with the bucket of water looking at me funny. Anyway, who cares? I've got a job to do. Now, on cat on the screen here this is looking good uh, so it might be might be a success this old uh, tripod thingy I'll turn around and go back the other way now now one thing I've just decided is that this uh, two-handed operation is not very good I am actually going to probably put the phone on top of the Mavic with uh, with Velcro or something and go one-handed operation or at least give myself that extra option so I'll get this vision home and look at it on the computer and then make a verdict but I think it's pretty good so far a little bit of zoom in so you can see the gorilla pod I've put underneath so there you have it a DIY tripod for a Mavic Pro with built-in knot held in place by Araldite and I think the video quality speaks for itself that's the Osmo in full frame and the DJI Mavic Pro in inset. Works pretty good. Never thought you'd see me here, did you? Or you never wanted to? A whole new stand. Instructions. Yep, cool. That goes in next. So this is my workshop, workbench, made it myself, the, um, the skeleton of the workbench here is these uh, steel storage shelves which we bought for the magazine because uh, when we were printing the magazine we had a lot of spare magazines come back from shops uh, to sell to customers. At the moment I'm actually on a task to restock 
our magazine supplies in the office. So I've got to restock them because some of them I've got a bit low. So issue number 24 right here. Thirty-six. Uh, yes. Dog day afternoon. And then you're here in VC. Latest insight to Aussie's SOTG. You should buy that one. <laughs> you should buy all of them. I need to get rid of all of these, please. If you saw it in other videos and you wondered what this bloody tennis ball is hanging here for, well, that's for my wife when she drives her car into the garage. She drives in until that tennis ball just touches her windscreen. When that happens, she's got about three inches at the front before she hits the sawhorse and about three inches of room at the tail when the door comes down. You know what? It's a real camera. It's not a toy one, it's a real one. Did you know that? Yeah. A real camera. So it's a toy one. No, it's not. It's a real yes, one. It is. It's a real one. I, I, I used to use it as a real one. Why? See, it's a Canon Ixus. And what does that say? That says Canon. What? Uh, 10x optical zoom. What does that say? That's 10x. And that says Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. So it's a real camera because yeah. it's got Wi-Fi. Where did you get the camera? I don't know. I gave it to you. Huh? I gave it to you for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Granddad. Thanks, Granddad. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, I'm the best Granddad. You're the best in the world. Am I? Yes. Oh, thanks. Oh.